Hi folks, Dave, the Honest Audiophile. This is the Tin Hi-Fi T3 Plus, and these are my Honest Audiophile impressions. I want to thank Linsole for providing the T3 Plus for review. Do greatly appreciate it, Linsole, you rock. All right, so the Tin Hi-Fi T3 Plus comes in this little bit of a gray gift box. You're gonna lift the lid, you can get some paperwork on the bottom, and then you're gonna have your IEMs and a little accessory box. And that's pretty much the unboxing experience, not too much there. On the inside of that, you're going to get the new upgraded cable. This is very reminiscent of the T5 cable. And then also you're gonna get this little carrying bag and you're gonna get some silicone tips. You get a red stem tip and then you also get a black stem tip. And we'll talk about the, the uh, differences that the tips make here in a moment. The cable is nice and light, works. It's an okay cable. It's not my favorite cable, but it's doable. Now, the big significant differences. You're going to get a universal build shell. It's a resin design shell. You have a nice angle. You got a little bit of a wing. It's very small. I really do enjoy the build of the T3 Plus. Does connect with two pin connectors. This cable, by the way, is the Linsol Smart Cable. Highly recommend this little cable. Do, do enjoy it a lot. But anyways, uh, the shells of the T3 Plus, very, very well done you can see the big driver in there this is a 10 millimeter lcp or liquid crystal polymer driver unlike the original t3 which had a balanced armature along with the dynamic this only has the dynamic driver it does have 32 ohms of impedance 105 decibels of sensitivity and a frequency response of 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz Overall, I really do like the design of the T3 Plus. It just fits in the ear and just disappears. And I find that it isolates outside noises very well. Uh, they, these work very well for walking through a park in the office and uh, going around town. Do not know how it works on public transit as I didn't take any trips. But overall, these uh, seal extremely, extremely good. I highly recommend these if you need a little bit of isolation in your life. Fit is very good. I can wear them for hours on end. There's something about the way that this wing design fits my ears versus others. It does not bother my ears whatsoever. It's like these were molded for my ears and they just disappear and I can just wear them. It just fits my ears properly. Now I know that's subjective and it may affect your ears differently, but for me, these things are like a glove. All right, let's talk about sources. What sources did I use with the T3 Plus? I did find that the T3 Plus is somewhat picky when it comes to sources. I used the IFI Audio XDSD Griffin, the Sony NW, uh, I'm sorry, Sony NWM1A, the Sony NWA105 and the Heidi's AP80 Pro. I also used a ton of dongles. I used the NextDrive Spectra X, the X Duo Link, the X Duo Link 2021, the Venture Electronics Odyssey HD, the Parad Periodic Audio Rhodium and the ADV access port light. I did find that the T3 Plus, when paired with a slightly warmer sound, it became bloated in the base and it also was somewhat lacking in details and had a very intimate sound stage. So the, the warmer the source, the thicker the sound of the T3 Plus. When you put it on some more, uh, less warm, more neutral type of and natural sounding gear, the T3 Plus came alive. Tips. This also affected the difference. The red stem tips and the black stem tips. The black stem tips 
no matter the source, added a ton of treble elevation. And they were just extremely shouty and very harsh in the treble, and they lacked bass impact. Moving over to the red stem tip, the red stem tip tamed the treble. It became more controlled and was less harsh. And also you got some bass presence and it, they were a lot more enjoyable. And I used the red stem tips a lot, but I did change over to the JVC spiral dots. And the JV spiral dots actually did the most pleasing differences. So you still got the good bass presence. You had the natural mids that the T3 Plus has, and then the treble was tamed but extended, and you also got a little bit more airy presence with the JVC spiral dots. So all sound impressions are done with the JVC spiral dots, as those are the ones that I enjoyed the most. As far as the cable, I did not hear a difference between the Linsole Smart Cable and the stock cable. I did not hear any audible differences. How do the T3 Plus sound? The T3 Plus bass is uh, really good. I really enjoy the T3 Plus's bass. It has a good amount of details, a really nice amount of resolution. Everything just kind of flows and sounds proper. Don't feel like I'm missing anything when it comes to the details. Extension into the sub bass is good. It's not the best, but it is it is noticeable and you can definitely get a little bit of that uh, that you're looking for in the bass. Mid bass is more prominent. It definitely has some impact, but it is well controlled and there is no distortion and no flabbiness, uh, no bloatedness unless you're using a really warm source on the T3 Plus. I really enjoy the base on these. It has just enough to keep it in the fun category. I don't believe that a base head would really enjoy the T3 Plus. I think the base, a base head would be looking for a little bit more physicality and a little bit more of the drive um, from, that the T3 Plus does not offer. I think that this is about the right amount of base for us uh, average listeners. <laughs> I guess that's the way I, I would put it. Uh, the mids. The mids are extremely pleasing. I really, really do enjoy the mids of the T3 Plus. I find that they have a, a natural aura to them. They're very well detailed, have very good tone and timbre, and they have a good separation of instruments, very good isolation, and extremely good um, airiness. You have a very, just a natural warmth to things. Everything just sounds the way that it should. There's a good balance and cohesion to the sound. There's not any peaks. Everything just kind of flows properly. Going into the treble, the treble is elevated in the lower mids and then it, it slowly descends down and extends out. You have a very nice, well-controlled treble, very good airiness, nice sparkle and energy but it's a non-fatiguing, it does not uh, pierce your ears, and it's not driving your ears in, in an aggressive way. It's just a very pleasing, enjoyable treble with very good details. Overall, I found that the bass, the mids, and the treble had extremely good tonality and very good tone and timbre. Everything just sounds the way that it should. It shimmers the way it should, and it just you, you get everything that you're supposed to in, in, in instruments, and I find that the T3 Plus is a very natural and accurate sound. Going into the sound stage, the sound stage is about average and width, which is not a bad thing because it sounds very natural and accurate. You can really de uh, determine the sizes of a stage in a venue. If it's a really small, intimate stage, you're going to hear it on the T3 Plus. If it's a big, wide open space, you're going to hear that on the T3 Plus. It does a very good job of allowing your imaginations to flow, determining the sound stage depth. It doesn't uh, pigeonhole things into always being narrow or always being wide. It does a very good job of transitioning and uh, allowing you to know what the different sizes are. Depth and layering is where the T3 Plus really excels. It does an extremely good job of giving you depth in the sound stage you can really read into the stage and dissect it and then the uh, layering is exceptional you can hear different spots and on top of each other and around doesn't meld things together does not cluster things together does a very good job of keeping everything separated and layered imaging is very good things travel across the stage with ease and you can spot them and place them very precisely 
the T3 Plus is a very much an enjoyable soundstage. How does it compare to its siblings, and the, the T3? The sibling, the T3, the T3 is about as good in resolution. It may have a slight advantage to the T3 Plus in resolution, but they're very close. The T3 Plus has slightly more tame in the treble than the T3, and it is slightly better in bass presence, has a little bit more impact a little bit more extension especially into the sub bass the stage is deeper and more layered on the t3 plus and the imaging is slightly more precise comparing it to the moondrop aria the aria definitely is more aggressive in its presentation and the upper mids uh, is more refined on the t3 plus the the upper mids of the Aria is just a little bit too far forward. The T3 Plus is a little bit more cohesive and balanced. The Aria definitely has more treble presence and uh, it has a wider soundstage, but it's not quite as accurate. And the Aria does not quite have the depth and layering, nor does it have the detail resolution of the T3 Plus. In my opinion, the T3 Plus kind of takes the positives of both the T3 and the Aria and makes them in together into one solid option. The T3 Plus takes the sub bass and mid bass of the Aria and refines it. It controls the upper bass of the T3 and it takes the lower and main mids of the T3. And then it has the upper mids uh, balance of both of them. And then it's the refined treble of the T3 with less elevation. And then the stage is similar to the Aria, but just more controlled and more accurate. Depth and layering of the T3 and the tone and timbre of the T3. In my opinion, the T3 Plus is an exceptionally good IEM. If you like either the T3 or the Aria, you're going to be happy with the T3 Plus. It complements it. It adds a fun spin onto the sound. It's been Dave, the Honest Audiophile. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Speaking of next video, somewhere on the screen, subscription links and notification bells. If you haven't already, please check those off, and then don't forget to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to the video. Also, check out the links down below for how you can support the channel, follow the channel, contact the channel, all kinds of other good things, gear recommendations, music lists, all kinds of stuff. So check out those links down below. It's been Dave, the Honest Audio File. Don't forget to enjoy the music and honesty is the best policy. <laughs>